the senior pilgrimage, the end of my years here at OCW. In a way, it's all been a pilgrimage for me, a quest, a journey. I had so many things to learn, not just in books. These years have pointed out the way. I've grown up here. I've found the real me. My first days here were so much fun. Even the scramble that went with freshman orientation when the whole class milled around together on the administration building steps. The president talked to us, told us the things we'd need to know. We were all so happy, all such good friends, even though we'd hardly met. It's funny though, the brand new pair of shoes I wore are still the thing that I remember best about that day. I was so proud of those shoes and they were only a little tight. I hadn't counted on touring the campus, though. There was the home ec center, Austin Hall, but my feet hurt. Nellie Sparks Hall. I wish I'd worn walking shoes. Lawson Hall. Why did we have to walk so far? The new library was wonderful, but my feet. Registration was at the Union. Not such a long way if a girl only had sense enough not to start out in brand new pumps. Well, I had to get there, and there comes a time when hurt feet count for more than hurt pride. I made it, finally, but by the time I got there, what a sight I must have been. A place to sit down. What a relief. I knew OCW was a friendly school, and they told us how upperclassmen helped freshmen to get settled. But I never really appreciated what it meant till one girl brought me her own house slippers. Nothing ever happened to me as wonderful as those slippers. Registration itself wasn't any problem. The school had everything down to a system. No long waits, no red tape. Good advisors can make all the difference in the world to a girl just getting started. Ours were experienced, understanding men and women, really interested in our problems. They knew we had dreams and ambitions, and they helped us plan the programs we needed to make those dreams come true. Willard Hall was to be my residence. My upper-class guardian angel took me over as soon as I'd finished at the Union. I met our house mother. My roommate, Jen Raymond. It didn't take us long to fix up our quarters. By 10.30, though, I was plenty ready to go to bed. But first, my feet had a date with a pan of good hot water, soaking out the aches and pains while I thought back over all the activities of the day.
I still remember the way I felt that night, how I looked forward to stretching out in bed. I was tired, yes, but it was a good tired, and I was happy. Glad OCW was going to be my school, because by then, even after just one day, I already felt at home. Morning. A shower. Breakfast. And then off to my first class. I was so scared of the idea of college work, but that didn't last long. The classes were small and planned for girls like me. I lost my nervousness, found myself asking questions, having fun. And the faculty. I just know there couldn't be finer teachers anywhere. They were all so eager to help us learn, and the facilities were designed especially for girls. I've taken my share of courses since that day. History and English, chemistry, typing, fine arts, home ec. They've kept me busy, made me work, but I've been given personal attention in every one, not lost in the crowd. With that kind of help, it's no wonder that the scholastic record at OCW is so high that our graduates do so well when they go on to other fields. The personality clinic helped me more than I'll ever know. I learned to fix my hair the way it would look best, to choose colors, to walk well and talk well, to use makeup properly and dress with taste and entertain. It's the kind of basic training every woman needs. That's why it's so popular with the girls. It gave me poise, self-confidence, a smarter look. But classwork isn't everything, and I guess I've always been one of those people who need to feel they're part of some special group. Maybe that's why Triangle meant so much to me. I know it's personal. Many girls don't care to join. But to me, the ceremonies were so beautiful, so solemn. They made me feel closer than ever to my friends. But OCW isn't one of those schools that are run by cliques. Whether we choose to belong to social clubs or not, we all had lots of fun together at dinner every night, getting together in our rooms, sharing midnight snacks. Freshman sophomore week has grown with the school. Button, button. Cabbage theater, too. Skits and fun charity for a worthy cause. The Glee Club, and oh, how we love to sing. Our junior carnival, a grand tradition, and another big date night for all of us. The Christmas program, key to the spirit of the season. We all look forward to it. There were trips out to the cabin, wieners and marshmallows. Food never tasted as good anywhere else. Coke day to the snack bar were fun. So were the hikes. We found so many excuses for getting together. The evenings with the Dean of Students meant everything to me. We all loved her. And you never get to know the faculty so well except at a small school, a girls' school. I probably learned almost as much out of class as in, especially when I was working on the trend.
Yes, Tren got me in on everything, including a couple of stiff lectures, but I certainly picked up information on Oklahoma College for Women, all the way from building program to student government. Interviewing symphony director Guy Harrison was fun. Eli Culbertson, too. What a brilliant mind. Madame Pearl Nesta, minister to Luxembourg. I liked her. There was a night I met the Barter Theater cast. The college orchestra concerts were wonderful for anyone who loves music as much as I do. And what style conscious girl doesn't like campus fashion shows? I picked up a good background in art just covering the exhibits. And I had fun writing up the water show, too. Talking them into letting me work on the Argus, as well as Trend, probably wasn't too smart. But who wouldn't be anxious to be on the staff of a yearbook as good as ours? From radio broadcasting to the Greek theater, two dramatic forms 2,500 years apart, but I wrote about both of them. Modern dance got plenty of attention. I think I covered more sports events than anyone at the college. Fencing, golf, archery, hockey, diving, volleyball, softball, basketball, tennis. I got in on them all. Because just about everybody here takes part in one sports activity or another. Actually, I loved every minute of it. For mine, though, I'll still take riding. Peace and contentment. I found them those sleepy afternoons when I rode along the bridle path that circles our college golf course. And then the trio. Joe and Beryl and I. How I love those hours. Miss Bragg playing and singing, our rehearsals, then the formal concerts. There never was time enough for all we wanted to do. I always wished we could go on forever. Sundays and church. We all went. Nearly everyone was a member somewhere. And of course, I sang there too. I'm glad I did. Glad that I came to a school where church going is so much a habit. It seems to give the whole college a wonderful feeling of, of spiritual endowment, showed me others' faith, and strengthened mine. Maybe that's why Pi Zeta Kappa, our religious group, always meant more to me than any of the rest. Those quiet meetings were a sharing of something fine and good. There were bad times, too, of course. The year my folks wrote, I'd have to quit school because our wheat had blown out and there just wasn't any money. What a nightmare it was for me. but even the bad times were good in their way because they taught me what friendship really means, prove that OCW really has a heart.
the dean was so good, so wonderfully understanding. She worked out a school loan for me that day, right there in her office. My job in the library, she found that for me too. It helped me earn my way, broaden my view. And without it, Pauline and I might never have become friends. The fun we had rooming together that next semester. What did it matter if we were both a little crazy? That's half the fun of being permitted to change roommates each year, the way you are at OCW. That was the winter that they elected Pauline to be Miss OCW. I helped her dress that night. And then when she won, I think I was more thrilled and happy about it than she was even. The home management house. I learned so many things there, practical things that I'll need to know when I'm making a home of my own. Learning to cook was fun and work both. We were all so anxious to have our formal dinner come off well. I had my private tragedy right there and then. But that's all part of entertaining too, and somehow I still managed to survive. There was my biggest thrill, the honors assembly. How it took me off my feet when the president announced that I'd won the Victoria Award. It meant even more to me than most because I'd always had to watch my marks. It says a lot for OCW's teaching standards that I did so well. And the best part of it was the way all the other girls were so happy for me. And if that weren't enough, there was the tinsel ball and Bob. most wonderful dance of all. They're over now, these happy OCW years. I'm graduating, going out to work, make my own way. And later, maybe Bob and I. But it's enough that I've had this time of fun and growth and learning, developing, becoming the kind of woman I want to be. That's been my real pilgrimage. And now this part of it is over. One journey's done, another just beginning. And it's been a happy, happy pilgrimage for me.